Here's how you play Papa's on the Housetop by Leroy Carr. Kind of working out of a B7 shape here. All you really need though are these two fingers and you're going to pinch the A and G string, 2nd fret. Bring your index to the 1st fret of G, pinch that with the open D in the bass. Fret the 2nd fret of the low E string, F sharp. Get its octave on the 4th fret of D, pinch those. Come back to the last shape, but separate them that time. That gives you this. See if you can play that three times. Okay, your next measure is going to be pretty much the same thing, but different rhythm. So this time those two chords that come after this have the higher note picked and then the bass note. And then the final beat of that measure is your open A string. So now we have So now see if you can do that a few times. And just one more time that second measure. sound like that when you isolate it by itself. Once you get that down, you're going to repeat everything until the A in the bass, which now is an F, because we're walking down to our low E in the bass and into the next chord. should sound. Now, as to where you land here, you're going to be on the 7th and the 6th fret of the G and D string. And you want to pinch those two notes with the low E in the bass. Back up a half step. Or actually, don't separate them yet. We're going to play it like we did in the other section. You're going to pinch, pinch, come to the octave of B on the 7th and ninth fret of E and D. Pinch that as well so you get three pinches. Come back to the last chord and this time separate them. So I'm using kind of a weird fingering there, but the reason is to have the middle finger pretty much right where it needs to be to grab that bass note. But you could use the index finger. Experiment again a little bit. There's probably a few different options that might work well. Okay, now the second measure does the same thing as in the first part. You're going to play the same sequence, but you're going to, after the first chord, separate those two, separate those two. And one reason to maybe use the index on this note, especially here, is because now your middle's free to play the 8th fret, F, walking into F sharp. Let me break that part down for you. So the F sharp 7, which is built off of the same structure as C7, so if you play C and add the pinky to the 3rd fret of G, move that up to the ninth fret, through the 7th fret, and you get F sharp 7, and you're going to play the bass, play the three highest notes of the chord, move your bass note up to the low E string, thumb, index on G, thumb on D. And if you add that little walking bass note, it should sound something like that. So now this whole part, For the last little lick, you're going to come over here, fret the 2nd fret of high E, 3rd fret of B. Pick both those strings, bend the B string note only.
pull off from the 4th fret to the 2nd fret of G, 4th fret of D, open B string. Now that last move there is really hard, but if you can get that... I kind of clanged it there, that B string note, if you get it to ring out clean into that chord, it sounds great. probably going to silence it when you go to that next one. Well, that's how you play Papa's on the Housetop by Leroy Carr. Mostly that was taught to me by Jeff Bartley, and there were a few little wrinkles that I had to fill in. It's a very fun song to play. The chords are kind of cool. If you think about what they're doing, we're in the key of B, it's a blues in B, and the one chord's a B, the four chord's an E, and the five chord's an F sharp. And we're going B, E, it's kind of like E7, right? B7, E7, and then we go to F sharp, which could be, so it's almost like we're going. But that sounds a little bit cooler. I think the last thing actually, if you watch the video of me playing the whole song, you'll see at the end, I think I do something like this. And then I do a hammer on pull off, second, for, uh, second to fourth fret on G. And then I just climb up those three notes, fourth fret of D, second fret of A, or second fret of G, open B string, walk it back a half step, walk it back another half step, which you can do with your middle finger in the open strings. Pause there, and then come to B7 sharp 9 which if you go to your B7 and just move your pinky to the third fret of the B string, you get B7 sharp nine. All right, hope you have been able to learn that. You should have it now if you've made it this far without even needing to look at any tablature. And I hope you have as much fun playing it as I do.